to the Holmborg rink here in beautiful Safe Barricka, Massachusetts. And what a great game we have on tap tonight. We have the 9-9 Wilmington Wildcats facing off the 13-5 Rams from Shawshank Tech. With the win, Wildcats punch their ticket to the big dance. Shawshank has already done that, and so this should be a good matchup. I'll bring in my partner, Steve Snipes, with the Shawshank Tech take. I appreciate that, Dan. I'll tell you, uh, nobody better to work with than the dangle. Uh, for Shawshank tonight, they need to get pucks deep. We've talked about this before. Get pucks deep. Don't lose it at the blue line. Either blue line, bad, bad news. Uh, for Shawshank, who knows who's playing in that tonight? I hope it's Bobby Mitza, but we don't know. Um, oh, high glass. High glass. I apologize uh, for the Dan. I um, uh, got a little um, discombobulated on that one. But uh, yeah, Shashin just nice, gets a puck, keep it simple. Because uh, they're a big underdog in this game. And uh, so let's get it on. I will say this though, Shashin Tech has come out of the CAC League. They're 12-0 in their conference. Uh, they are a Division Three powerhouse. Wilmington dropped on Division Two this year. And now they're looking to punch two tickets, a ticket to the uh, stage for their, uh, for the Division Two game. And we're going to- uh, pick and it's Pittsburgh. The, the, uh, the, the barn is packed. This is going to be a great game. So it we'll, be, we'll be right back with the puck drop here at it the Holmborg. It is steering room only here at the board. So we were walking to school. I started thinking about lunch. Mom packed me turkey and cheese. She's smart. I really want cheese pizza. Um, sometimes her mind wanders. We should have a sleepover. I remember saying, Laura? I think I heard Laura. Mom say something. The sign says don't walk. Sometimes it's so overwhelming. I really hope she doesn't I have really another bad day. I really hope I don't have another bad day at school today. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. Go to understood.org, a free online resource with support and tools to help your child thrive. We're back here at the Hollenborg Arena in Barricka, Massachusetts. Wildcats and Rams set to do battle right now. On the faceoff, you get Warb against Matt Irwin. This should be a good one. Warb wins the puck back. And back to McKerney, who slides it over to Robage, his defensive partner, who slides up the boards, chipped in by Lord. Stopped on the board by Michaud there on defense. I'm sorry, that was, that was Bo Ramsey. Look for Matt Irwin to be a big factor in this game if the Wildcats want to win. Uh, they have to shut him down. So puck goes off the boards. Woods couldn't connect in the pass, but now it goes back to McKerney. McKerney gives a lead pass to, Ro to Bobby Lord, who dumps it in on the backhand. Wood four checking on Irwin. <laughs> Behind the net, Irwin won the battle. Nice cross ice pass up to Nadella. Nadella oh, gets a hit from Warob. And Warob has the puck at center ice and fires it in. Fires it left, just, just to the right of, of Mitzer in net. Woods on the four check. Irwin with the puck. Oh he, oh, he takes a hit from Barrett. I'll tell you, the physical factor for Wilmington, I think, is going to wear on the uh, Rams. Jack Duggan, the Wild Colonial boy with the, with the shot on net, just passed. Uh, the sophomore Kuzo getting the start today. Behind the net is O'Coin. O'Coin brings the puck in his own zone. Back out, looking for more. Oh, and there's an interference call right there. Yeah, that yep. might have been a little early. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but Mirabella bring the puck over. Oh, oh, nice. Little dipsy doodle. Nice. Oh. Well, gets dumping it down low. Yeah, I think they got hit a little bit hard there. Barry yeah. had to have his head up, and yeah. uh, I think we're going to have a cross checking call here. Mm. Interference. And I could tell you, Dan, that um, this has been Chashin's uh, MO for the last three, four games. There's too much time in the box. You start going down against these skilled teams like Wilmington and uh, Longmeadow, kids with snipers like Jackie Barron's kid. Um, you're in trouble. So Ryan Kelly called for cross-checking at the 13:35 mark of the uh, first period. So Wildcats on the PP. McCurney with the puck at the point, slides it down. Low I, tell you, I like that number eight for the Cats. Uh, the cap settles everything yep. down. Yep. Lord with the puck in the slot, puts the yep. puck on net, nothing. Oh, clear, oh. but not. Uh, uh, Page could not clear that puck out. Yep. yep. You need to get that on your Back forehand. To McCurney, so you, you need get to get that on your forehand to get it out of there. Cats you know? working the puck around nice. Oh, Lord fans oh. on the puck right there, gets it. Ramsey trying to keep the puck in. Now that's uh, McCurney. Back to Lord, so it's been, it's been a McCurney Lord thing. Lord. McCurney with the puck at the middle of the ice. Makes a move. Backhand shot to Boer. Oh, Fiza. Just fires the puck wider than that. Now we get Lord back in his own zone with the puck. Slides it over to O'Coin. O'Coin cross ice to McCurney. McCurney takes the puck over the, over the blue line. Cuts to the middle of the ice. Almost loses foot and McGree gains it back. McCurney, oh, nice move right there. Puck goes into the corner. 
And there's Matt Earn right there. Kills penalties on the power play all day long for Shawshank. And there's Werb in the corner. Battling with Irwin. Oren just missed the puck in his feet. Back to Woods behind the net. Matt Irwin again on the puck, and he clears it. You got a forward right there. Their first line center is playing defense on the penalty kill. An uh, outstanding play right there. Wildcats on the on the regroup in their own zone. We get O'Coin with the puck. O'Coin flips up there. Oh forward and collected by Barrett. Love the oh, Barrett kid. Yep. Let me tell you, I love the Barrett kid there, Dan. I may be a little yep. biased, but I love the Barrett kid. Uh, Benoit with the puck, fires it in, doesn't get it deep enough. And now the uh, Cats have to regroup. 18 seconds left on the power play. Cruzo yeah, I think, I think, I'll tell you, I think the Rams got away with one of their um, Wildcat power play was setting up, looked good, and then um, something broke down. There it is. Yes, exactly. So the Cats got to be a little Jack disappointed had that a nice they, get, little bit they right let there. that get away. So AJ McCurney with the puck over the blue line, gives it to Barrett on the on the near side circle. Oh, tries to give a nice pass back to McCurney. Was, Just couldn't connect on. That was nice a good day. look by 23. Good look. O'Coin with the puck now at the point. Puts it on net. Rebound out front. Stopped by Mitza. Hey, so why we got a break in the play here, Jay? Sorry, Dan. <laughs> it's okay. You can call me. Just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> I'm going to call you late. Uh, Story Misho, number 11, one of the uh, stalwarts on the, um, uh, of the Shawshank defense. Great hockey name. Y you, know what, you know what he, uh, Story's a great, yep. You know what he likes in the morning? A uh, little PB&J. Peanut butter and jelly in the morning. And he loves. Good for Story. His nickname is The Muffin. Oh. So here we go, 24 is yep. going. Kelly's, Kelly's on a roll, yep. out of That's the penalty box. Out of the penalty box, puts a, puts a shot on Kuzo, who blocks it down. Joe Hill with the puck in his own zone, flips it up off the boots, and Nate D'Amico. Now it's a Mo Duchamp. Mo Duchamp. Oh, takes that nice hit from Ryan Kelly, but gets right back up. And now to meet D'Amico with the puck in the zone. Oh, tried to center to uh, to Joe Hill, but couldn't connect. D'Amico keeps flying behind the net, cuts out front, puts it. Oh, he missed the far side. Duchamp puts it down low to Kelly. Back rims and rack around. And you got Drew Thetis right there. Oh, and he takes a hit from Tom Robage, who, who who held the blue line, puts the puck back in. And it's uh, Ryan Kelly with the puck now. Flipped it up. McCurney keeps the oh, puck. Oh, that was zone. a nice yep. play. Back down low to, to D'Amico. Back to uh, Lord. Puts it back down to D'Amico. D'Amico tries to give one a one-timer. And now it's McCurney with the puck. Wheeling into the corner. Puts it out front. Uh, Mitch had a shot oh, one away. What back out to there? Lord. He fanned on the puck. What was that? And now it's <laughs> Tommy Worrell with the puck in now. In the, in the uh, control and the play in the Shawshine zone. Robots at the point. Oh, and Warb couldn't handle the pass. Got to fire it back in. Cats looking for a change well, right I'll here. Tell you, I'll tell you something, Dan, right now, um, that the... Um, Ooh, Matt Irwin's got a head of steam right the here. Zamb the Zamboni's not going to have to clean the other end of the ice right now because uh, all the play is in the Shawshine end. So it's Irwin for checking on. Oh, and a nice move around. A coin pass out front. Just missed. By Nick Nadella. Now it's collected by O'Coin who fires it up off the guy. I think they hit President Hinn's helmet. And Matt Irwin clears the puck into the, into the Wilmington bench. Uh, stoppage of play. So actually, after the first couple minutes of play here, this actually, the Wildcats come out, look like they're flying. Shawshine has a momentum on their side because it's senior night. And right now, it's, it's actually anybody's game. Bobby Mitz with a couple good saves early. Yeah, I think Bobby Mitz is holding the fort for them uh, early. Uh, I think the Cats are... Uh, uh, outplaying the, the Rams. We'll see how it goes. Yep. So Barrett fights the puck in low, makes a sauce behind the net. Mirabella on the four check. RJ Page right there and, and takes a hit from Ryan Barrett. But, um, nice back check by Mirabella. Puck goes up and off the Wildcat bench. Another stop with your play. So I'll tell you, number 16, RJ Page for, um, for Shawshin. He um, goes by the nickname of Ronnie. Ronnie. Loves Chipotle. And, uh, Chipotle guy. Yep. Yeah, and his favorite player is Johnny Quick. I don't Ooh. know what that means, but it's Johnny well, Quick. Sometimes that Chipotle goes right through you quick. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Barrett with the puck in his own zone, flips it out. That's going to probably be an ice unless it goes on net. Oh, oh. Bobby Mitzit plays the puck. Interesting play by Mitzit right there in net. It yeah. was, unless he, just, unless he thought he was playing that behind the line, which he must have. Sometimes they call it uh, Chipotle quick. Yep. Like, all you need is two pieces of toilet paper. It goes quick. 
Uh, Dusham on the draw. Fight out, and now Coyne starts to kick in his, in his foot. Back out to Dan McGaffin. Dan McGaffin, a Wilmington guy. There's a couple Wilmington people that are uh, kids that are playing for the Shawshank Tech. So this game uh, means a really lot to them. We love the McGaffins. Yep, yep. the McGaffin is a good play. We get, he's got McGaffin with the puck. That's uh, RJ Page with the puck. Fired in, O'Coin collects it. O'Coin back to Joe Hill. Joe Hill collects it and gives a nice cross ice pass to Modusham. Modusham over the blue line. Oh, nice move. Collected, but now it's collected by Hill. Fights it back down into uh, Modusham, but couldn't connect in the pass. McGaffney with the puck on the far boards. Fires it up to Matt Irwin, who comes flying off the boards. Watch out when he's got the puck. He's on, he's on Bresnahan, puts it out front. No one there. O'Coin with the puck, flips it up. And now it's out there on, on the stick of Bobby Lord. Bobby Lord on Wyatt and Kelly, and they're going to get a call. But to Moosey Woods, he nice back check there by Matt Irwin. To, uh, as Moosey Woods had uh, a clear they, shot on they that. They call it a penalty on that. Yep. I want you all in TV land to watch. Um, it Five. never touched him. Lord fell on his, on his own. I think I, when you look back at that, you might be right. But the impression from the ref was that there was enough stick on skate contact to, to call a penalty. So well, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you, Dan, it's tough to be a ref. So, uh, you know, you can't say enough about the zebras. No, the zebra is the dumbest animal in the jungle, just so you know. Face off win by War back to Woods. He puts it on net. But again, but again, the second Wildcat power play, uh, my guess is that they're going to uh, cash in. Two minutes on a power yep. play. I think you can see one nothing when this thing's all over. Woods with the puck at the top. Yeah. Gives it to the near side circle of McCarron. He shoots it, takes nice a Nice play by the Wild Colonial boy, 25. Jack Duggan, good player, has been a good player all year long. Sacrifice and yep. take him one for the team. McCurney shot on net. Fies and stop. But stopped by McCurney. Uh, but stopped by I'll Mitzer. Tell you, yep. I tell you, that's Bobby Mitzer in net. Uh, covers a lot of the net. Unbelievable. Cats have 133 left on the power play here. First period, no score. We're up on the drawer against Jack Duggan. Jack Duggan will war, wins a puck back, but McCurney was not there. Hey, when you, can you win a faceoff too good? When you knock it out of your own zone. Exactly. Yep. So now, there's Warb with the puck, with the head of seam coming over the blue line. Now he, now he pulls up. A lot of patience. It, slides it down low to Lord. Lord back to Warb. Warb oh, slides it over to, OG, to Jared O'Coin. Shut on net. So Wildcats getting the puck back, putting the puck on net, and uh, they got, I think they had a little more decent bodies out front there, too, so. I'll tell you, Mitzel looked behind him, didn't know where the puck was, but, uh, you know, ended up having it trapped in his uh, in his pad, so no rebound, no nothing. Coach Scales switches out, Lord for Barrett. Barrett's on the power play now, but uh, you have Woods for checking on, on, me, on Ramsey, who gets the puck out of the zone. Collected by McCurney, center ice, now makes a move, gives it over to Woods. Woods settles it down, puts a shot on net. So a shot on that right there, it's either to be low or it's going to be hard. You don't want to give the puck right back to them. If it wasn't low or high, where would it be? Low or hard. I would say, oh, low or hard. I, I, if it wasn't low or high, I'd say it was going to be in the middle. Barry on the four check. <laughs> World with the puck. World with the move over. It takes a nice snapshot on net. What do I say about high Barrett glass, Dan? Oh, put it right back on front. What do no I say about there? high glass? Chicks dig high glass. Yep. Kyle Preble with the puck, fires it down, down the ice. So Shashi's doing a good job of, of killing Wildcat penalties so far. They may get away with this one, and they shouldn't have. No, now you got Barrett with the puck, who gives it to Woods, who gave it oh, back to Barrett. Hey, hey. Now you got Benoit. Benoit with the puck right now, back. Back up to Woods, who carries over the blue line. Woods working down low. Not sure what happened there. The Kerner's going to have the puck. Wildcat, and uh, that penalty is up now. So Shawshank did a great job killing that penalty. And now you get McCurney putting the puck on. Now. Oh, and that deck just caught Mitzer in the shoulder. Who did I do it? Oh, that's an offside. Yeah, that's. Robach couldn't keep the puck in, was just a little bit out. So 529 left in the first period. It's been a good period so far. Rams have killed off two penalties. Wildcats have had the edge in play. You know, only one would you can come to Baricker and get the uh, hometown cooking. I don't get how that works, but. All right, so puck is thrown back in on Ramsey. Now Barrett with the puck. 23, one of the yep, greatest Barrett. hockey numbers oh. in Wilmington High School history. He fired the puck wide. Now he puck up by Jack, uh, Duggan. Jack Duggan with the puck. 
to Benoit, clears it out. Michaud, oh, nice body work Michaud does in. The puck goes in, and Scalin, Coach Scalin catches the puck. He was on top of that. Not his game. Yeah, it's coming from his old, his old, his dad, who was a legendary baseball coach in Wilmington, Virginia. Yeah, so he and showed Coach Kalen himself has some, uh, has a lot of history. A uh, Curry College Colonel. Puck play, flipped play out. Play with Tommy Dolan at uh, Curry College, uh, defensive pair. So we got the first line out for the Rams. We got Matt Irwin with Andrew Sakalas and Nick Nadella uh, facing off against. You got Laura Lord and Wood for Wilmington. So the puck goes back. Oh, hit by Warb right there on uh, Ryan Kelly, but flipped out. Now it's back out to, to Warb. Nadella tries to fire it in. Merritt Earn with the puck now. Oh, that, boy. That's Nick Farrell to the puck, and now you got Warb. Oh, oh, they're going to. Oh, my goodness. Right, yeah, another one. You got another one. Ludemont stick on puck, and that's going to be Irwin going to the box. He's giving the ref a uh, piece of the business, too. I don't know if he's going to win this argument, though. <laughs> well, we got yeah. one little ref calling uh, all yep. three penalties. Yep. He's a new sheriff in town. So, so Katz back on the power play for the third time in this period, yet and, there's no score. And I'll tell you, I don't know if anybody listened to the pregame, um, but um, Stevie Snipes said what was the big thing for Shawshin. Stay out of the, Stay box. the box. All right, They've this is the third time in the box in the first period. They've been um, hit by the penalty. Two box. minute penalty, so 15 minute periods, they've been in the box for six minutes. Okay? You can't win hockey games like that. So this still taxes Wilmington too, because they, they use their predominant their first line on the PK, yeah, the power play as well, too. So these guys are out there watching. They got McCurney with the puck. Flies up to Woods. Woods using the whole ice, a little serpentine route he took right there to get the puck in the zone. Brings it back behind the net. Woods, Woods moving with the puck. Nice pass back to O'Coin. O'Coin looking. Look at, takes a snapshot on that. Mitz is Mitza. Hits him in outside the zone. Oh, guy in the crease. So think about the uh, Shaw Sheen. In here. the crease. We have Matt Irwin in, in, in the box, and he's he's predominantly their best penalty killer as well, other than the goalie. So you get him in the box, it's like a double win for the Wildcats. Let's see if they can capitalize. Well, you can't you can't kill penalties from the box. That's for sure. Matt, yeah. Matt Irwin yapping at somebody yeah. in the box. Puck rolls down to Caruso, who stops it right there. Now Della on the four check. Into Collis. Big suit with Ramsey and uh, Michaud on defense for the for the Rams. What a great hockey name, Bo Ramsey. Bo Ramsey, Story Michaud, mm -hmm. Story Michaud. I, two of the best hockey names yep. in the state going right now. Yep. So McCurney wins the puck back into the corner. Woods collects it, brings it by his own net, stops right there. Puck is rolling a little bit, so he, start, he settles it down. Not sure what happened there. Now a coin flips it up into the feet of Wara. So the Wildcats have to get better with more crisp with their passing. <laughs> O'Coin carrying the puck over the zone, brings it back, pushing on Wood, and uh, Woods could not keep the puck in. Nice, nice play by uh, Nick Nardella to get the puck out. Oh, it almost stolen by by Nadella off McCurney. Hey, so McCurney Dan Dangle, Dan Dangle, one of the things we talked about uh, pregame was blue lines. Yeah, it shot on net, Mitza fought a little bit, he made Again, the catch. Again, blue lines, doesn't matter whether it's yours or theirs, do not give the puck up at the blue line. You Transition control, hockey. You have to control that zone. It gives coaches gray hairs all the time. So Scalen puts out uh, Barrett line on the on the PK. You get Jack, Jack Duggan. Barrett wins it first on on uh, Del, on uh, Jug, Jack Duggan. Couldn't put the puck out front. Now uh, Benoit behind the net puts it back to McCurney. Slides it over to O'Coin. O'Coin regroups. Fires it back in around the net. And that's Preble. Preble on the zone. Benoit with the puck back to Barrett. No Barrett. Oh, he almost lost a puck to Jack Duggan. The Wild Colonial boy could have stole that one right there. Barrett's snapshot just high of the glass. Chicks love the high glass, and they love Ryan Barrett. Oh, puck. Barrett hit Duggan. Puck went up and off the bench. So I'll tell you right now, with two seconds left in this power play, the Wildcats, uh, I should say the Rams, uh, have really held their own. Uh, they're hanging in there uh, with 2.38 to go. Uh, 
they might have killed off another penalty. Right now, two um, seconds ago, you have but to you, watch. You, yeah, you, yeah. You have to watch Irwin out of the box right here. Do not get the puck back because he'll, he'll be gone. You can't make a living, though, on the penalty box. I'll tell you Slot that much. On net. Block, and there's Irwin way down there. But now you get Benoit with the puck. Benoit back to Barrett on the on the point. Gives it back to Bresnahan. Bresnahan puts a shot on net. Oh, and it just trickled through, but it wide on the net. Marabella with the puck now in the corner. Brings it around the net. Marabella looking for a pass. Gets stuffed up, so he jumps it back down low to Benoit. Benoit down low. He puts it back down to Mirabella. Mirabella stopped oh. by O'Coin. O'Coin puts it back on net. Oh, oh it's in the net! Oh! As an own goal. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but Jared O'Coin put the puck on net. Joe Mirabella was there. I think the puck just had his eyes and found its way to the back of the net. And that's a big goal for the Wildcats. And I tell you, heartbreaking for, for the Shaw Sheen Tech Lions because they've been playing, they've been playing great hockey, killing off all penalties. So we'll see who gets the credit for the goal there. But Wildcats lead one nothing. I'll tell you, Dan, again, you know, that, that comes off the uh, back end of that penalty. And, you know, you, you're reeling off the penalty and they never got back together. You can't be in the box. Ooh, so Duggan Jeff let one Duggan, rip. He just let one rip. I was trying to listen to see who got, who got credit for that goal. Uh, bad PA system here, but. Oh, we're, terrible. We're yep. So Hill, nice up front pass to uh, Moduchamp. Uh, D'Amico just goes offside. Tough to make that play right there. 139 left, Wildcats up, one nothing. I think they announced the goal was Rob Santos from Bob Ducharme and Jerry O'Reilly. I think that's how it went. So that's old school hockey right there for Wildcats. And now you got you have Mo Ducharme taking the draw with Joe Hill on his left and Nate D'Amico on his right. Now they're gonna whistle off Ducharme from the center because Wildcats are trying to do a late change. D'Amico, back and now Duggan. Duggan's gonna have the seam on McCurney. McCurney sold on the one-on-ones all year though. You're not gonna, you're not gonna beat him one-on-one. -on -one. RJ Page behind the net, McCurney on the stop. McCurney flips a puck up. Oh, couldn't just pass the outside reach of, of uh, RJ Williams. DJ Williams, I'm sorry. Nick Farrell, another woman to boy with the puck right there at the red line. Nick Farrell carrying the puck, puts it on net. Stop by Wara, stop by Robage, and oh, I think we're gonna get a Wilmington penalty. Yeah, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a roughing penalty right now on the Wildcats. It looks like a roughing on on Joe Hill. Behind the play on me, but he you can't do that, I guess, the ref says. <laughs> so our first look at the Shawshine Tech Rams uh, power play with uh Erwin Nadella Zucalis. The uh, uh Preble and Kelly on defense. Now look out for Kelly. He's got uh, he's got that good snapshot from the point. Yeah, so back to Preble. Oh, Preble couldn't keep it in the zone. Now he got now he's got one on one with Woods. Woods, nice hustle. He controls the puck back to Warub. Warub, look at oh, and what a snipe by Tommy Warub. He had it. He saw it. Wait, wait, he waited for Mitzi to go down and just put a top corner. Great play. Great four check by Danny Woods on Preble. Control the puck. Get it. Get it to Warub. Warub. Almost looked like he was going to pass it back to Woods, but went top corner. As soon as Mitzi went down, Ward went top corner with that one. I think you see the two Shashin uh, defensemen take each other out, uh, both hustling hot, but um, tough play. A great shot, though. You heard barring in. That's always a good thing. Bar down. Bar making, down. making the iron sing. Making so the iron sing. Coin with the puck, fires it up off the boards. Kelly right there with the puck. Now it's Irwin. Irwin. Back on your zone zone. Oh, nice move on Woods. Irwin with the head of steam. And here he goes. Not Irwin. Oh, what a move on a coin. Puts it through. Oh! Kuzo there like a Rick ball for the stop. Irwin crashed into him, but great, great hustle by Matt Irwin to get through there. I tell you, the cats, he caught the cats defense standing still on that one. That kid's a little flashy. It's a flash in the pan right here. So Matt Irwin on the draw against McCurney. Zucalis on his right, Nardella on his left. Puck back to Wara behind the net. Fies up. Now that's going to be icing, right? I would assume. No icing in high school hockey. Oh, Katz is still in the box. Oh, boy. Oh, it's in the net. Oh, we missed that one. Not sure what happened right there. The puck comes out of the Zamboni door. Great forecheck by Danny Woods to continue it. Mitchell, I think Mitchell lost sight of the puck. It can bounce it back out, and Danny Woods is right there on the doorstep to put it home. This game has turned Icky Baluki in the past 30 seconds. 
So Wildcats lead three nothing now with 18 seconds to go in, in, the, in the period. Mirabella on to Duggan. Duggan trying to carry the puck. O'Coin just missed the hit. Duggan with the pass out front. And we have a stoppage of play. Refs are pointing. They're, I don't know if they're changing lines. What do they do? We got a, we got a hook and call on. Ooh, Wildcats going back in the box. Hook and call on, hook and call on Joe Mirabella. You know, it doesn't mean too much this uh, period, uh, Danny. But I'll tell you, uh, 6.5 left, not a whole lot this period. But next period, the Rams are going to come out and have a uh, probably about 55 seconds of five on three. On fresh ice, too. Does so that mean the ice was... Um, Warb put out there. Warb uh, gains the puck and gets it out. So, wow, what an interesting first period. Cats go on a power play, three different power plays. Don't score. Mm -hmm. And then they come back and they score three quick ones. Uh, one, one was like almost a gimme behind the net, but uh, the other two, they come back and then they take a three nothing lead into the into the first intermission. So kind of a really, really strange first period. It was very strange. And uh, so we'll see what happens when they come out in the uh, second. All right, we'll be back for second period action right after this. I'm Ferdinand. You look at me and think big. You think scary. But I'm a little misunderstood. Funny. Sorry, I almost killed you! You've all been misunderstood. You're not a fighter. Oh, I don't understand that at all. Kids with learning and attention issues like dyslexia and ADHD are misunderstood too. Take the time to understand. Best plan ever! With the right support, everyone can reach their full potential because you can't judge a bull by his cover. Learn more at understood.org. Oh, we're back here for second period action. Wildcats lead 3 0. But the Rams start on a five on three penalty, fresh ice for good. It's gonna be five on three for 54 seconds. Warb on the draw, not controlled by, that's Jack Duggan. Bring down up, fired on net. Back to Kelly, oh, Kelly could not keep the puck in the zone. Brings it back, you get Erwin back. Erwin goes back in the point on the Shawshine power play. So Erwin with the puck over the middle zone. Oh, runs into Dan McGaffigan, but he, clo he controls the puck. Kelly shot on it, stopped by. Oh, what a stop on AJ Wow, McCurry. that was a great stop. So Aaron with the puck. On the power play, brings it around the zone, back down. The nice puck, cross ice pass to Duggan. Puts it back, oh, he couldn't get it. We got a rim in the net, and there's no call on that. And we got the fans are screaming for the a penalty. The fans are not happy about that one. Yep. So with Kelly with the puck behind the zone, zone, bring, behind his own net, brings it back up over his blue one. He's got a good head of steam right here, brings it back. And it's five, now it's, it's still five on three, shot on net. Cujo just pushes aside. Back to Erwin LaPointe. Erwin with the puck. Oh, oh nice block goodness. by A.J. McCurry. Sa sacrifice his body. Matt Erwin with the puck. Nice backhand pass to Duggan. Duggan sides it over, but stolen by Warup. Warup with the puck into the zone. Pushes back down the corner. Bunts it off the back of the line. Duggan tries to clear the puck, but O'Coin's right there to keep the puck in the zone, flips it back in. Lord up tight, comes off the, come off the nut, and you get Bobby Lord up there. Oh, and a, what's a breakaway pass to Duggan, just high that, but it go. Oh, he called it icing. Just so great play by Kuzo in net right there. Who saw the puck coming over his line, didn't play it because he knew it was going to be just short of the net. Icing on the Rams. You know what? He played that really cool, calm, and collected. Uh, just kept his pad against the post, and oh. let the puck do the work. Well, that is Kuzo. He is. Kuzo, cool, calm, and collected yep. in net. Yep, yep. Let it come to him. That was uh, that was a nice play. Ref pushing people back on the bench here. We get we get Lord and Woods out on the draw. Puck back. Nice pass. Now it's Nadella with the puck over the over the line. Drops it back from Misho. Misho. Oh no, that's Gallas. That no, Gallas, that's, nice big that's, that's big soup. That's big soup. Yep. Oh, Coin right there with the puck. And he's got he got breakaway pass and he just missed oh, it. Oh, he liked the stretch. He liked yep. the stretch on that. He just missed it. So that's Ramsey with the puck. Gives up to Zucalis. Zucalis, and now you get low with the puck. Low with the little break. Partial breakaway. Snipe shot. Saved by oh Mitza. Saved by. Oh, and another one by, by Mirabella. Bar oh, now Barrett comes off the bench with the puck. He's got a good head of steam Barrett's right here. Barrett's flashing. Yep. He's flashing. Oh, puts it up front. Oh, the oh, Woods. Oh, great setup. Woods right there. Oh, great. 
Oh, I don't nice know kick how. out saved by Bob Mitzer right <laughs> that there. That was two now in a row. Pump. Barrett it, snaps one. It, oh, nice kick out by Mitzer. Barrett's been doing his wrist curls. Puck goes in. Ba oh, now Quinn could not nope. get the puck in the zone. He's calling a little uh, no icing. Yep. Oh, I think the oh, ref just missed nice, an offside right there. That was a nice stretch patch by the Cats, and I think uh, I think it was okay. Yeah. And I think Barrett thinks it's okay out there too. Yeah. 23. I think the ref missed that one, but it's okay. Yeah. Yep. 23 has got a little jump in the step tonight. So we got the Wildcats in their own zone, but you got McCurry and Robage on D. And there's a good shout out to Tom Robage's sister, Meg, who's uh, just a phenomenal, phenomenal person and wanted a good shout out. So, Megan Robage, this one's for you. But Irwin brings the puck around that and fires it up high. You know how chicks like the high glass? How do they like it when it hits the, hits the stadium oh, roof? I have no idea. That's I mean, got to be like through the roof. And they get literally they get, through the roof. Is this, uh, is this tinfoil on this roof? I'm not sure what, what's up there. So, McCurry brings the puck back. Mirabella on the near side boards. Battle on the matter. Irwin wins that battle, brings it out front. Goal! Irwin puts the puck in the net! And it's 3 1 now, Wildcats! Shoshi Tech is coming back! What a nice goal! Irwin got the puck behind the net, brought it out front, and slid right through five hole on Kuzo. Great hustle goal by the senior captain, Matt Irwin. Let's hope that gives him a little bit, uh, a little bit of pep, because uh, when, you, when you have a five on three and you don't score, you got to be a little down about that. And now, snuck one in. So we got three one game. What's the uh, what's the worst lead in hockey? That's a three, three to one. Lead. Three goal lead. Three goal lead. Hundred percent. So you yep. got Barrett against McGaffney. Dan McGaffney on the draw. Another one with some boy yep. right there. Big face That's off an right, there. right there. You Big be face off win right there, but uh, right there. little hop, a little too much hop yep. on the step. So you get McGaffney and Duggan and Page out there for the Rams. You get Barrett Benoit and Mirabella for the Wildcats. I tell you, I love the Barrett kid. I'm a little biased, Robage, but I love the Barrett kid. Robage fired the puck in. It stopped. By Rams. Page with the puck over the zone. Takes it. Now McGaffin right there with the puck. Into the corner it goes. Robaz in the in the on the blue end on gives a little push. Puck's in their feet. They're saying, hey, how do you do? What's going on tonight? Now the They're puck goes exchanging up. pleasantries, yep. I like to say. Yep. Puck on the boards. Robaz does a nice job now with Benoit's help. Puck behind that. That's RJ Page. A nice try. Tries a wrap around. That's the only good way Shawshin's gonna get yep. this done is get ugly. Get down low and get the puck in the net. Good, good puck move by the Rams right here. On the pass out front. Oh, oh what great a stop. save. I don't, I don't thought, what oh, a that save was loose by too. Cuso. I think, I That's think he was helped by a yep. shot on net. Yep. I'll tell you, the fans are not happy with the, uh, with the referees. They're, they're gonna call this, is they calling it outside? No, he's going to call the puck inside. So great chances right there by the Rams who put the well, puck. Well, they got a little energized after that goal, and um, they should be. Who's been a nice job slide. So you got Mo Dusham out there. I love me some Mo Dusham. You know that. I guess McFadden. And you know, uh, Mo Dusham's uh, sister, Kylie, is going to be playing in the um, MIA tournament as the girls' oh, the basketball team. Qualified to play in the MIA. That is right. Yep. So shot. And fantastic. Shot on net by Breslin went wide. Selected by uh, Breslin hand. 200 yep. bucks on the ice right there, kid. Somebody broke their oh, stick. Joe Hill with a nice four check. Some 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 father in the stand is like, oh, that's uh, terrible. Three hundred dollars on that one. Mm -hmm. Sneaks out. Now Breslin with the puck at the blue line. Fires it back in. Gets it with the stop behind the net. Kelly. Gets up. Looking for DJ Jarose. DJ Jarose, nine for Rams. Another Wilmington guy. So there's five Wilmington players. Uh, boys that grew up in Wilmington playing Wilmington youth hockey, playing for the Rams now. So it's uh, I'll tell a you, good Dan, battle for them. I'll tell you, Dan, um, no doubt about it, uh, Shawshin came out and said, listen, we're going to go cross ice. we got to start working the puck cross ice. Those long feeds, trying to catch the Wilmington uh, defense. Up a little tight. So Warb on the draw. You got Nadello, you got uh, Matt Irwin with Chicago's and Nadello out there. Robots, nice play on defense, throws it back in behind the net. Stormy Misha with the with the puck up off the boards, couldn't connect with Nadella. Warb could not keep the puck in. 
And now Tsukalos coming down on Robaz. Tsukalos, a nice pass out to Irwin, who puts it on net. Ah, uh, and Kuzer with the right there with the save. Irwin is, he is a shifter. He had to watch out for him. Woods with the puck behind the net, flips it up. But it's Michaud on D. And now it's broken oh, up by Warb. Now you got a three on one. You got Warb three on one. numbers. Warb with the puck. Back over to. Ro Oh, and what Beautiful. a nice goal! Beautiful. War up to Wood, Beautiful. back to War up, Beautiful. and it is four to one now. Hey, you know what we call that? You know what we call that in my house? Tick tack toe. That was that was beautiful. Goal we call that tick tack toe right at my house. Yep. So War collected the puck at the at the near side blue line and brought the puck over there. Wildcats had numbers. He looked up, saw Woods over there. Woods made a nice job. Great, great pass back that to Woods. That was a sweet, that was a sweet, sweet. Goal. The world's got two on the night, Barrett, and the faceoff pushed the puck forward. Who gave the feed? Who, who, who that was Danny that Woods. Danny Woods gave that was, right uh, that was a selfless play. He could have fired that thing right in the net, and he uh, fired it right across far post. Joe Marabella on Jack Duggan. Look at Barrett laying out. Oh. We got something happen here. Oh, we're going to call it. I think they got Barrett on a leg check. Well, let's hope that let's hope the Duncan kid's okay. No, it's not Duggan. It's 25, right? Is Duggan the wild colonial boy down? We're gonna take a break, right? We'll be right. We'll be back after this. Hope he's okay. Very unfortunate. Uh, I'll tell you, I think Ryan Barrett was a hustle play. I don't think he had any intention to hurt him. But uh, I think ref saw it a different it way. Leg on leg contact. The ref call it, and they, they're going to give him a five minute major. In the, uh, yeah, they give him a five and a game. And a game. So uh, you can rock, you can knock number 23 off your uh, off your roster because he's uh, he's out for the game. And we love we love us some uh, Ryan Barrett, but um, refs didn't see it the same way we did. So Matt Irwin with the puck. Cats on the on the PK for five minutes right now. Benoit battling Irwin on the boards. Benoit battling him. Benoit's a battle. He's got two guys down. That's me. That's uh, Sukalis. Back into O'Coin. O'Coin flips up and that's up and out of the rink. So with with four with eight minutes to go here in the in the second period, not even halfway through the game. The, Rams are on a four-minute or five-minute power play. Uh, they could do some damage here because if they can, they can score, and the Cats will not come back to even strength. So we're back into the uh, worst lead in hockey at three nothing, right? So puck on the SI boards, uh, Mirabella right there. McCurdy clears it out. I tell you, the Cats' um, PK is looking really good. Well, just solid. They've had enough practice all year. They should be. So that's uh, that's Kelly with the puck over the boards. Tries to set up, but he puts a puts a shot on that. Well, Coin gets the puck, clears it. Irwin couldn't keep, could not keep the puck in. Apparently oh, he did. Apparently he did. Wow. Yep. Yeah. They lose it to Warup. Who fights it down the, on Mitzel? Woods right there. Nice Woods play. Nice steal by Danny Woods. Absolutely nice Bring play. Bring it all the way back. Yep. Smooth. They, they've got time to kill. Tell you, 22 is smooth. 22 is smooth. McCurry with the puck, fires it down deep. Now it's a uh, it's Nice work by Danny Woods. Uh, Ryan Kelly. You get just, it. just took his time, did yeah, what he needed to do. You want to take as much time off that clock as you can. Now puck comes back out to McCurry, he fires it back in. Well, I tell you, 22 Danny Woods comes from a big, Wilmington Athletic family and um, has no problem knowing what he needs to do and does it. So we're with the puck. He's got ahead of seam right now. He's looking for a second goal of the game. Oh, tries to nice, nice play by McCurney. McCurney. Not many nice people play by McCurney. On one -on -one. He says no soup for you. RJ Page with the puck behind. Irwin tried to slide it between zone. his legs and McCurney Irwin's goes, I've check. seen that move before. Now it's Irwin again. Irwin's going to try it again. Back check by D'Amico. Irwin tries to put the puck to his leg. Pushed aside by by Kuzo, Irwin looking for a call, nice, not gonna get anything. 
So D'Amico with the puck behind his own net. Puts the puck up on the boards, fires it down deep. Wildcats doing a good job of killing the penalty, and I think he's gonna call for too many men. I think he's gonna call too many men right here. On Sheen. guy was not up and out of the boards yet, and the puck hit him. Yeah, you gotta appreciate that. Listen, I like it when they call it right, and that was right. If you got six guys on the ice and they're playing the puck, so why is he putting Irwin in the box, though? It's uh, not sure what Coach Baker is doing there. If there's too many men on the on the draw, you don't put one of your best players or your best player in the box. And that. So let's kind of try and see what the what the call was on that one. What, who, went in, uh, who went in the box? Matt Irwin. Hmm. So that's an interesting call right there. You go into the box, you feel shame. Two minutes, they let you out. So Robards the puck behind his own zone, brings it back. Lord, nice chip up puck. That was a nice play get, by Lord. Yeah, D'Amico with a, with a nice face on. That was a on nice play by Lord. Little on, chip. On Ramsey. Little chip. D'Amico behind the net, hit by Ramsey. D'Amico keeping the puck down low. Four and four hockey right here. McGaffigan with the puck now. Another Wilmington boy. Puts a nice cross ice pass over. I just couldn't connect. With number eight. I have number eight on my, uh, on my, uh, my roster, but we'll get him. So McCurney back in the zone, fires the puck out, out of the zone. Ramsey with the puck, over to Kelly, but D'Amico right there, Lord again, fires the puck in the zone. So the Wildcats doing a good job of killing. Yep. Well, we got four or four here, but they're doing a good job of just putting the puck down low. Yeah, um, absolutely. They, get, they got the three goals. Just keep lead. it down yep. low. Yep. Puck behind that, stopped by Mitza. Kelly with the puck, but checked by Warhub. Nice little tick packs. To McFadden, McFadden brings the puck over. That's Brady McFadden. Push, push the puck down low. McCurney right there again. McCurney falls down, but gets regains his feet. Say number 22, McFadden's got some wheels. Williams keeps the puck in. Warb, oh Warb's gonna be smart. That he, it's four and four. He should know better. Oh, actually, oh, in the two minutes for. Why is the Shawshin penalty not up on the board? Oh, they're caught. You know what? Shawshin never went on the power play. Big Saved by Kuzo. So, big, big soup. So, did Irwin get a, Irwin might have got a, a, a misconduct because there is, there is no penalty on the board and he went in the box. Mm -hmm. We'll have to get, we'll have to get one on that one. I think you get a little multi. Might have got a little multi. Kind of funny, both the Barry and the Irwin kids are uh, yeah. <laughs> not even in the game right now. So, pockets thin, land the ice by the Wildcats, mitts it behind the net. Two of the best kids you know, but uh, I'll tell you, they're, uh, they can get a little multi here and there. So Zucalis gets nice it over play. Page. Here's R.J. Page. Page. Puts a shot on it, no coin right there to block it. R.J. Page, good speed, good hustle by Page. Now he controls the puck. Oh, good hit by, good hit by Kelly on Robage, but Woods gets the puck. So now you get Woods and Robage on Misho. Oh, that's a nice Robage, feed. he's gonna get back to, oh, great play by Misho. Nice save by Mitza. Yep. Yeah, Mitzel with a great save right there. That was a good push by Mitzel. Yep. See him push all the way across here. Pushed all the way across and covered the short side. Um, great goaltending. Great play. Uh, tell you, Bobby Mitzel playing a great game tonight. Seen a lot of pucks. I'll tell you. Seen more rubber than a lot of um, roads. Rubber beats the road. So we get, we get Benoit with Mirabella, and we're gonna have the Wildcats are out of the box now. So we're gonna be back to even strength right now. Yep, Cats killed it off, five men and uh, they killed it off, but I'll tell you, the other thing stolen is- by, Stolen by Benoit, oh, tries to put a backhand on that. D'Amico right there, back to O'Coin. O'Coin collects the puck on the, on the blue line, puts it back down. You know, so big, thing, with the big thing for the Cats around. though, sure uh, Dan, I'm gonna jump in here. Um, they killed the penalty, but they, they lost Ryan Barra for the rest of the game. That's a big loss for the Cats. Big loss. Well, if you're in the box, it's not much of a loss. So you get Brezian. Oh, no coin right there. Crunched up on JJT, but another Wilmington guy. So you get some Wilmington that's people. A nice, that's people. a nice out, outlet hockey. pass. Silver the puck. Gives it over to Sullivan. Sullivan fires it back in. O'Coin's going to collect it on, his, on the far side. Boys fires it around. He gets D'Amico. D'Amico finds Benoit. Benoit has got a one-on-one on, one on Preble. Fires a puck and it's connected. 
up and over the glass. I'll tell you, Preble, number 17, got a long reach. He's, he's kind of like a charish. Got a big, long reach. Would... So all these guys are friends, and uh, Sullivan's exchanging pleasantries with number two. But I'll tell you, um, when the puck gets dropped, they forget about the fact that they're friends, and they fight. And they fight there, for the puck. There are no friends between the boards. Nope. Duchamp on the draw, pushes it forward, collects a pass by himself. Puts it off front. Oh, and Mitchell right a there nice for the look. save. That was a nice look by 10. Duchamp comes from, Hey, listen, his father, Bob Duchamp, legendary athlete from uh, Wilmington High School. Yes, Bob. Yes, we know his father world. So you got Fenenzi out there with, right now getting his first ice time of the game. So you got Fenenzi with, with Hill and Duchamp. And now it's caught by Hill. Takes a slap. Oh, and that, oh a nice stop by Mitzel. Pushes aside. You get to Carlos with the puck. Puts it up. Cross ice pass to to Page, who fires it in. So yeah, it does look like uh, Irwin might have said something to the ref, <laughs> or I'm sure he didn't send him. Maybe he forgot to send him a Valentine's I think Day card. Yeah, because, I think that's what it was. Because he's in the box too. Venezia, nice pass to Hill. Hill snapshot saved by Mitzel. Nice Mitzel. glove saved by Bobby Mitzel. Mitzel's, right been, there. Mitzel's been strong back there. Yeah, Irwin's in the in the uh, sin bin. That's what happens. Must have yapped at the ref. We have no idea. So tell you, Moosey Woods out there is playing a great game. Yep. Number 22 with for the Wildcats. Right here. With here he is. Oh, nice oh shot. High, high glass. Net. His father Dave loves it when he goes high glass. I know that. Theodore. <laughs> So now you got Stormy Michel, fires the puck around. One on one, Robage. That's Theodis, Drew Theodis. Woods collects the puck. And he's got now, you got Woods and Robage. Uh, Rob, Rob, nice pass back to Woods. Woods going to the net, crashes in, Mitz Mitz a save. Catch changing up here, 4 1 lead, right? 154 to go in the second period. And this is this better. I'll tell you, Dan, uh, five on five, this game's pretty even. Uh, again, Shoshin needs to stay out of the box. Yep, so D'Amico looks like he jumped up to take the Barrett spot on that line with Mirabelle and Benoit. Won the face off back to Robage, who put it on net, and it comes back out of the zone. Nice cross by McCurney, back to D'Amico. D'Amico with the puck. Good hands by D'Amico right there. That was nice. Oh, puts a little body on, on, on Ramsey. But not great hustle behind the net. Checked by Ramsey. Bo McCurry Ramsey, just, Bo just Ramsey probably one in. of the greatest hockey names you're going to have. Robage fires it right Other back than Dan in. Dangle. Dan Dangle's probably the greatest hockey name. But that's you. Danny Dangle. So you get good hit by Benoit back there. McCurney who puts a snapshot on net just wide of the net. I love that. Robage right there. Oh, now you get, oh, we now got two you, one. Get tech, you get tech with numbers. 2-1. Tech with the numbers, puts a shot on net. Saved by Cuzo. Might have had a, might have had a play right there, but he decided to shoot the puck. So now you get McCurney up to Hill. Hill over the red line, over the blue line. Puts it back in on front to McCurney. Out of goal! What that a nice, nice pass by Joe Hill. That was AJ nice. McCurney continued to play, hustled the whole way down there. Hill got the pass, put it on a backhand back to McCurney. McCurney puts it home and stuck by Mitza. 5-1 Wildcats. I tell you, you gotta love the hustle by McCurney. Started, he stopped the play down the other end and then hustled his way all the way back down the other end and stuffed it in. Great play. And you know, you can't fault Mitzer on that one. No, it's, you got a two on one. Hill made a great backhand pass on that play to, uh, to get it going to McCurney. So they get Sullivan with the puck. Oh, nice little move. And now Sullivan's got some speed going over the blue line right now. Cuts to the middle of the ice, tries to put a shot on net, block, uh, tripped by O'Coin. And you get Dan McGaffigan with the puck, fires it back to Preble. Preble puts it on net. Oh, try to put it on net. Now you get Venezia. Jared Venezia saw him. Number 20, Wildcats, brings it right around. Oh, he's got some speed. Takes it, puts it, oh, and try a nice pass out to Duchamp. Could not connect. Shot on net by O'Coin, up into the up into the netting by Mitza. Here we got Wildcats with a 5-1 lead right now with 12 seconds in the third. Yeah, Ten. and I'll tell you, it's 12 seconds left, and I will say this, I'm a little biased, but our Earl will be in the box. You can't do that. When you're a captain, you can't be in the box for 10 minutes. So you know they, you can't score from the box. I'm sure Matt knows that. Uh, so puck comes out. 
Zucalis over to McGaffigan, a little backhand, puts a puck nice down. Nice play low. by McGaffigan yep, too. Exactly. Just get the puck down deep. Let's 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 end the second pair with no shenanigans. So after two, Wildcats lead 5-1. Yeah. And you see both Ryan Barrett leaving the game, Matt Earn in the box, and the Wildcats up by by four right now. Let's see if there's uh, any shenanigans for the third period. But we'll be yeah. back after this. Thanks, Dan. They said I have troll teeth. That my voice sounded like a possessed baby doll. That no one would ever love someone as stupid as me. That I was fat. Ugly. Disgusting. The effect of bullying is potent. We will no longer be the silent majority. Now, when you see online bullying, there's something you can do about it. We're gonna take action with the eye. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness, and so are you. So we're back here for third period action. The Hallaborn Rink in Bullrick of Massachusetts. Wilmington Wildcats holding a 5-1 lead on the Shawshank Tech Rams. And what a second period it was as we've seen a couple people be in the box. We got Matt Irwin, the leading scorer for all of Shawshank in the box for the Tech. Ryan Barrett sent to the sin bin for life for Wilmington. And now we got puck drop. So you got Warb's line out there with Woods and Lord. But puck is controlled by Nardone, Mardella, but picked up by Woods, connected with uh, Misho, but not. So Zucalis puts it over, takes a hit from Warab. What a, a collision by Warab and Zucalis right there. Zucalis with the puck. Now Warab puts the pressure on, on uh, Ramsey. Puck down now, now you get Robaj with the puck. Robaj fires it back up of the boards. Good foot chase by Story Michaud and Lord. Oh, good hit by Danny Woods down low. Danny Woods having a good game here tonight. Puts the back down low. Now it's collected by Ramsey. Puts up the board, but Warb was there to collect the board. Down low and goes on. Puts it back to Woods out front. Oh, and Lord pushed the puck up wide of the net. And the puck goes up off the Shawshank bench. We get a stoppage in play. So right there, Wildcats look to hold the advantage in the first shift. And now they throw out, you get D'Amico, Mirabella, and Benoit. And the Twin Towers on defense. Bresnahan and O'Coin. So Dan McGaffigan with the puck right there for the Rams, throws it down, puts it down below the zone. Find the zone, Bresnahan right there, checked by Sullivan. Puts the puck out, and now Mirabella tries to put the puck to the middle, but couldn't connect with, with D'Amico. O'Coin, McGaffigan wins that battle, puts the puck out front, off of D'Amico skates. O'Coin back in the zone. Oh, but the puck, oh, the puck snuck on. Kuzo, Kuzo right there with the save. So, so now you have D'Amico carrying the puck. O-line dumps it right around Preble. D'Amico on Preble, gets it, wins the race, the battle to the puck, puts it down below the net. And now it's collected by Mirabella. Mirabella with the puck on the zone, puts it back in, down, cycle it down to Benoit. Benoit over to Brezian. Brezian takes a couple steps, puts a shot on net. Fies just missed the net, but now it's collected by Benoit, who cycles it back down low. Collected there by D'Amico. D'Amico, nice little pass to himself, but he gets it back to Brezian. Brezian puts a puck on net. Stop. Preble right there, tries to push it out. Clipped up. Sullivan got a little puck on it. A little stick on the puck, and now it's collected by Brezian in his own zone. Now Brezian's going to skate it. Brezian's a big kid. And there's a try to go. Oh, there's a check right there. They're going, oh, they're going to call that a, I think they're going to call that a tripping call. Because you can't, we're going to call it interference. So I'm not sure how you can call it interference when Bresnahan had the puck, lost the puck, and got hit. So, again, referees make the call. We just watch the game. So Shawshin's going to go on the power play. And that's, that's Ryan Kelly's in the box. They get Ryan Kelly and Maradona in the box. Two of the leading penalty kills. Wildcats throw out their power play. You get war up between Woods and Lord. You get McCurney coin on the dig. So J.J. Tebert always on the draw. Wilmington boy, now he's off the ice. Nadella on the, on the draw. Lose it, puts it back to O'Coin. O'Coin fires the puck around. And the puck goes off, the, off of that, uh, the Zamboni door. So that's been an issue, as we saw in the, one, in the first period, the goal by Wilmington, where the puck come off the Zamboni doors, and Mitzer couldn't find it. So McCurney back to O'Coin. O'Coin trying to set the, Poppy hits up the Woods. Woods collects the pass. Gives it over to Lord. Lord now brings the puck over. Back to Button. 
but a point on Robards uh, were weren't there. So Puck is back in the Wildcat zone, collected by O'Coin, slides it to McKerney. Wildcats trying to trying to get out of their zone here, but now, now you get Ward with some steam over the middle, shoots a puck on that, and it's stopped by Mitzer. Collects the pass, brings it back into himself. So Wildcats with, with 114, uh, well, a minute 14 left on a power play, looking to get something going, and maybe with a, with a four goal lead, they're, they're trying to pad a little more. Ward on the draw, Dan McGaffigan. And they're, and they're actually, they're neighbors. And McGaffigan just beat his neighbor on the draw, but actually the Wildcats got the puck back. Back to Lord, low downside. Oh, Mitzer right there with a nice stop. So Mitzer back to McCurney. McCurney over to O'Coin. O'Coin slides a nice pass down low to, to Wara, who puts it back in the net. That was a nice pass by Jared O'Coin. Low on the ice, slid it down. Ward was right there, redirects it right to the back of the net, right behind Mitz. The Wildcats lead 6 1 in, on the power play, on a power play goal by Tom Aurora. Great play by the Wildcats, right there. Good puck movement. O'Coin was able to slide it right down to Aurora. Aurora just redirect the puck back into the net. Now you get Mo Dusham against Dan McGaffigan with Joe Hill and Jared Venenzi on the ice. Venenzi with the puck, slides it out to the middle of the ice. Owen Sullivan tries to collect it. DJ Williams slides up the boards, and that's stopped by Bresnian. Bresnian keeps it in. Now Hill, Hill on Preble. Preble, Preble wins the battle. Hill down low. And RJ Page tries to clear the puck to the middle of the ice. Give it to O'Coin. O'Coin flips it up to Mo Duchamp. Nice, nice play on Page right there on the zone. But now the puck gets thrown back to Page with some speed over the line. So it's on, and O'Coin with a with nice block. O'Coin behind that. Now he gives it out to Bresnian. Now Bresnian with, with some ski. Look at the big guy go. Nice little hack by Sullivan. Couldn't catch, couldn't catch him. And now that's Ramsey behind the net. Throws it out front. Now it goes all the way back to center ice where O'Coin gets the puck. Slides it up the ice to, to Hill. Missed the puck. Now it's Rims who's going to fire the puck down the ice. O'Coin stops, stops it and slides it over to McCurry. McCurry back to O'Coin. Back on the near side board to Benoit. Benoit comes up the boards. It takes a hit from hit from Zucalis. Benoit's a tough character, but Zucalis gave a nice hit. Hill, short side. Stopped by Mitza. And Silver with the puck for the Rams. Four check on Tommy Robage. Oh, nice hit on Nella by Robage. And McKerney gets the puck. McKerney battling right there. Gives the puck up over to, over to Joe Mirabella, who flips it in. Hit by Michaud. Uh, Ramsey in the corner is D'Amico. D'Amico stops. Oh, takes a nice hit. It's a nice hit by Nardella. Didn't see that one coming, but he gets right back up. Tough customer named D'Amico. Benoit battling Ramsey. But, but gets a puck out front, but it's collected by Silva. Silver up over the red line, dumps it in. And Nate D'Amico rubs him off the boards. Collected by Robage behind his own net, fires it, slides it over to McCurry, who shaps it up to D'Amico, who dumps it in. Smart play by the Wildcats right there. Got to get the puck in and get it deep. So you got Preble with the puck behind the net, and he fires the length of the ice, and that should be an icing. And now you got the Rams. You get two Rams out of the box. Matt Irwin has, has escaped jail. And he's on the ice right now. Oh, up, Coach Bake's gonna say, you know what, Matt, get on the ice. You've had enough rest time. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> so you get, you get War up behind. You get War up on the on the draw. Oh, and Irwin's Ir 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 got plenty of legs now. He's got the puck, and he has got plenty of legs to go. Let's see what he does. He has to take the puck and snipe up over the net. Oh, Coin just got a stick on that to push that puck up over the net. So with 9-11 to go in the third, Wildcats up with a five-goal lead. And let's just hope this one plays out the way it, the way it should. The kids playing hard. McGaffigan on the draw with Page and Irwin on his wing. So with Irwin on that wing, that might mean that, uh, that Kelly uh, Duggan might, might be hurt. Let's hope he's not hurt. Because uh, Shawshank's going to need him for, the, for their run. So Kelly, nice Ooh. move. Nice move on Lord. But collected by Bresnian, throws a puck out of the zone. And now Irwin with the puck in his own zone. Puts it over to Preble. Preble collects the pass. Fies up the boards. Couldn't connect with Page. And a coin collects it. Tell you one thing about the Wildcats, you got Lord 
Um, great two sport player, plays golf too. You know, he's an all around athlete. Woods with the puck. Over center ice zone. Oh, Woods, nice move. Oh, Woods. Oh, what a he's stop flashing. by Bobby Missy. He was, he was moving on that one. Nice move by Danny Woods. All the way in, a great play. And uh, put the puck on Mitzen. Mitzen went right there to stop. So Matt Irwin brings the puck over the zone, tries to give himself pass. Puts a nice backhand on that, just missed the net. Page puts it down low. And collected by McCurney. Nice hits, hit by nine. Who, who hits Woods? Nice hit by nine. Woods fires into the corner or puts the puck into the corner. Stopped by, by Ramsey. Ramsey fires. Oh, great stop by McCurney. McCurney on the backhand, slides out front. Oh, Brendan George right there. Tell you're not going to give that stretch pass, and McCurney's. McCurney's oh, there's a goal yep. by number 14, Brendan George. And yep. that's his first varsity goal. Uh, save that Wildcats. puck, grab that puck. Grab that puck, grab rest, that that's puck. A goal. And you know, I that believe, play started, though, with uh, McCurney. I believe that was Spinazzola and Venezia on the assist Beautiful. with, grab with that Brendan puck. George. And that's a great, great moment for the, I believe he's a sophomore. Great. Uh, uh, that play started with McCurney, um, stopping that puck at the line, tapped it down, settled it. Absolutely. McCurney, I'll tell you, one thing about McCurney that we've seen every time we watch him play is he's got a lot of uh, patience. Well, is he a doctor? <laughs> so we got a, we had uh, Venezia with a nice rush on that, but and, and, and a great, another back check right there on uh, Dello. They're saying, how do you do? Mike Fee runs with the puck. He runs with that. Oh, a nice look, oh, but oh, stolen by. Who was uh, by Silver? Nathan Silver on uh, on the rim right there, stole the puck on that clearing pass by Fiorenza, but he put it up over the glass. So while we have a little break in the play, um, Big Souk, number five. Good man. Souk Hollis. Big Tell kid. You, uh, Big kid. Creates a lot of space out there. Creates a lot of space. Creates father, lot father was a. Uh, Good hockey player, played in this rink as well. So Zucalos creates a lot of space, but he takes a lot up too. He's a big boy. So it's a shot on net, and uh, the Tech has has changed goalies. Looks like DJ Williams fires the puck around Miller Bell right there, puts it back. Now uh, DJ Williams gets it back, fires up the boards. D'Amico right there with a great forecheck, keeps the puck in, gives the puck down low. Mirabella beats him, beats Williams to the puck, stops. Puts the puck back, and you got back to McCurney. McCurney with the slap shot on net. Oh, a nice stop by Nardello. Nardello with the puck over the red line, over the blue line. Picks an old break up by McCurney. Yeah, McCurney. Yep. Be careful here. No, and McCurney brings the puck you around. Oh, nice little, he tried a nice little short side right there. Hey, Dan, who's the kid from uh, Wakefield, number 12? Um, AJ. Uh, well, that's, he's from Stone, AJ Souza. Stone him. McCur I'll tell you, McCurney's uh, AJ Souza clone. Everybody will love him on the blue line. And this fee runs with the puck, slides it up. Couldn't connect with with Benoit. Kelly with the shot, Benoit with the block. Uh, just got the stick on the puck. Wildcats I, rolling four lines right and now. And I'll tell you, uh, McCurney, McCurney's father is a very special agent. Yes, he is a special, special yep. man. He's doing the right thing out there defending us. Well, coin on the draw, puts it back to Hill, who moves it out to Duchamp. Now you got Duchamp and Venezia. We got a two-on-one now. Duchamp. Oh, and a oh, great play a nice, by Preble. Nice, that was a nice feed by Duchamp, but uh, Preble, Preble made a right nice there, play. Yep. yep. So Hill puts the puck back down low. Kelly right there stops. Brings the puck around his own zone. Tries to connect with JJT, but on the boards, Duchamp gives him a little, how do you do, how do you do? Back to Kelly. Kelly slides it over to Theodos. But of course, the long reach was able to just connect with the puck. Now Duchamp with a four check on Preble. Preble wins this battle of the long six, and the puck is up and out. And a happy fan gets a souvenir. Well, I'll tell you, Dan. Oh, he threw it back on the ice. What is this, Wrigley Field? He <laughs> threw it back on the ice. I'll tell you, Dan, what you're seeing here is the Wildcats, uh, they roll three, four lines deep, uh, constant pressure, and it's, it's, wearing the, uh, it's wearing the Rams down. So you get McGaffigan, you got Irwin on his left side, he's got RJ Page on the right. So Irwin's doing double duty right now. He's, he's got enough time to rest, but Irwin brings the puck to the line, takes a snapshot on that. Nice stop by, by Cuozzo. Broken up by President uh, Worub. Nice pass to Woods. Woods with the puck over the middle of the ice. Nice pass out to Lord, just broken up mm -hmm. by Stormy Michaud. Great play. 
Bresnian with the puck on that. Nice low shot, but it's stopped by, by who's number 19 for the, uh, for the Rams. A great play by him, but he stopped it right there. Well, unless that was, unless that was Dan McGaffigan, 18. So, a coin over to Bresnian. The Twin Towers, Bresnian tries to dump it in, but it's blocked. Now it's Michaud. Hit by Warab, Warab's tough customer. Uh, nice play by Michaud, though. Uh, ate the puck to get the blue line. I like that. And he knew he was gonna get hit, because- Yep, uh, he, he knew, knew he was, was gonna get hit, it, but, he, uh, but he, gained the, he gained the red line, and uh, that's a nice play. So Irwin trying to pass it over to Michaud, who went down a little too low in the zone. But oh, now you get Irwin over the middle. McCurney with the poke check. Irwin back hand check. Oh, and a stop. Oh, Irwin with a nice pass through Collis, who puts a shot on net. Nice goal by the Rams right there. That was Matt Irwin, hustle, hustle play, and he puts a backhand pass on the Big Souk. On the tape of Big Souk, number Big five. Souk. Big Souk. Andrew Zucalis, who puts it behind Kuzo. I'll it's tell you, um, right that was number Wildcats. eight. McCurney uh, stepped up on Irwin, and but Irwin got rid of the puck enough to get it to Souk, and he stuffed it. Yes, now the Wildcats have a four goal lead, and now. You got Mirabella four checking on Sullivan. Sullivan with the puck, but Mirabella wins it. Now it's out to D'Amico. D'Amico shot on net. Shot on net on the Rams goaltender, number one. That's Carter Rook. Carter Rook at net for the Rams. Taking over from Mitzah here in the third period. So D'Amico wins a draw, loses a draw, back to, oh, it's a puck that goes nice off save. of a Rook right there. And now D'Amico down, uh, down the far in the near side corner. Tries a dipsy doodle out of there, but Preble breaks it up. And Benoit right there to stop Preble from bringing the yeah, puck out. Yeah, that's a nice play by him. Yep. Number five. Nadella with the puck. Broken up, and D'Amico doing a great job of four checking. Puts it out front to Mirabella. Couldn't connect. Kelly, Kelly wanted some. Uh, Kelly wanted some. Oh, oh we oh, got an offside. Should right be all the way down. Yeah, they're not going to call it that way. Nope. The Wildcats rolling four lines right now here. Yeah, but I'm telling you, every one of them hey, uh, is playing just as well as the other one. Where's Ryan Barrett? Uh, uh, probably on the bus on the way home. Probably driving the bus right now. <laughs> so get a few runs of poke check. Puck goes in the corner. Now stopped by Ramsey on the, on the near side board. Fee runs it back behind the net fire and gives it over to O'Coin. O'Coin flips it up off the glass. Trying to find it, but uh, Dan McGaffin, great play. Back to Michaud, Michaud shot on net. Oh, it trickled through, Matt Irwin was right there. It trickled through, and Kuzo was right there, but shot through. Irwin with a nice shot to Michaud. Michaud puts it back out, and it's covered by Kuzo. So Rims good with a with pretty good offensive attack right there. A uh, nice feed by Irwin, uh, I'll tell you, uh, kept his head up. Look for the defense yeah, coming down wild, on the slot. Wildcats are changing goals, you got Kuzo going up, they got, they got crowd favorite, Stephen Boker going on that for Who's the coming in? Stephen Boger, senior goalie for Wilmington Wildcats. Outstanding, outstanding. Has love to see this. We love to see him. Number 30? Program. Yep. And now he's in net. So shot by Misho. Oh, and Boker was right there for up to the challenge. Bo Ramsey on the point, puts it back down low. Mike Fiorenza with the puck. Nice move by Fiorenza. Great play. Oh, but he gives away to Irwin. Oh, sniped by Irwin. And Boker right there with the stop. High glass. That went off the goalie <laughs> stick, so Misho, uh, but so <laughs> Stephen Boak was right there on the shot from, from Irwin. Uh, uh, I'll tell you, uh, Dirty's got a quick belly. Bell, quickest belly in the league. So you nope. get T-Bert. Irwin can find a quick belly with, anywhere. With the Otis. And now, oh, Bisman is all finds Jared. Two one, Jared two one. The puck. Nice pass. Nice oh, pass. Great, nice great pass slide. Nice pass to Brendan George. Good push, good, good push by uh, the goalie. Great stop by O'Rourke. And now you got Michel behind his own net, fires it over to, passes it over to Ramsey. Ramsey back to Michel. Who gives it up to 22. Not on my Russell, we'll, we'll forget him. So if he runs it, collects the puck, he's got his own zone and puts it up. Oh, he loses his footing, but Duchamp's right there. I think the Russell are letting a little bit go here. Duchamp collects the pass, and Matt, oh, Matt Irwin. Look at, like, look, look at, look at, look at Duchamp, Duchamp kid. Flashing. Wow, great play, flash Flashing. coin. Unlike his father, who liked to stand in front of the net and basically be Phil Esposito. Oh, and Aaron, oh, getting stopped by O'Coin. Kelly right there. Oh, Joe Hill, give a self-pass, trying to get the self-pass to himself. 
And you got Calvin Stafford out there, another Wilmington boy, a long time Wilmington resident who's, who's played hockey his whole entire life, Wilmington. Great to see Calvin Stafford out there on the, on the Rams defense right there. Now doing a nice backhand to himself. Folk with a nice stop. There's one guy that hasn't stopped playing, it's number 37. No, Matt Irwin, you know, he's, he's probably the most rested person on that Shawshank Tech uh, team right now. He did take 10 minutes break. He must have missed his move. Apparently when you, when you tell the ref something. Oh, we got a goalie change for Shawshank. All the seniors are getting in. As it should be on Cheney night here. Absolutely. So, so yep. as this game winds down, this, this game really is, uh, was more of a, uh, you know, an exhibition for Shawshin because they're getting ready for the for their tourney. They're all set. Their their place is marked in the shot in, in the tourney. Uh, and you know, and playing, we'll, and we'll playing just, some powers down the road. We'll just bought their ticket. Yep. I mean, it's not over yet. I mean, everyone's got the golden puck. Might might count for three. Yep. It'd be sniped one. So Shawshin playing some metal down the down the stretch too here. They got Wilmington tonight. They have Stoneham. Later on this week, they played Long Meadow on Friday. Benoit puts a puck on net, stopped by the new goalie. And, uh, but Wilmington, they're 38.5 seconds away from pay dirt right here. Hey, you're actually 100% on the money, Dan. I'll tell you, um, Coach Baker plays the medal. That's Wilmington, Long Meadow. Um, they're gonna play Stoneham, which is in the Super 8 uh, talk, you know? So they're gonna, so Shawshank's gonna end up playing three of the top teams in a, a, a division above them uh, before they get ready for their D2 tournament. So wish Absolutely. them well. Uh, Wildcats looking right now with 25 seconds left to punch their ticket. Yep. And the way the season started for the Wildcats, they knew they were gonna have a battle-tested road playing the Division I teams in Middlesex League. And I think they'll be primed for a run right here. So we'll see what happens. So Owen Sullivan brings the puck over the line, puts a shot on, and a block by Fiorenza. Nice play by Fiorenza right there. Yeah, it was. He's solid. Fiorenza's solid. So Calvin back Stafford there. keeps the puck in. That's it, Wildcats, baby. Wildcats, puck goes down. He runs and gets the puck. And the Wildcats win it right there. And that's it right there. As, as the old coach from Wimbledon High School, Bill Cullen, would say, that's two points towards the States. And that's it right there. And they're in. They punch the ticket. The well, Cats punch the ticket. I'll tell you, uh, Shawshin went the whole way. Uh, tried to play hard the whole way. Good game. Good game for the Wildcats. Shawshin, you know what? I think they're going to be primed for their for their tourney run in the Division Two hey, tourney. Wildcats in the Division Two tourney. Dan, I'll tell you, hats off to both these coaches, um, Coach Baker, Coach Scanlon, that they they scheduled this game. Um, great hockey game. So that's it. That's a wrap up from here in the Hallenburg Rink in Bulwerka, Massachusetts. Women's Wildcats punch their ticket to the dance with a 7-2 victory over Shawshank Tech. Thank you very much. Good night and Godspeed.